In this video, I'll introduce Geoda for exploratory spatial data analysis. So what is Geoda? Well, it's a free and open source program for exploratory spatial data analysis or ESDA. It's available from Arizona State University's Geoda Center, which is home to Luke Anselin, and you may be familiar with his name because of Anselin's Moran's Eye, a local indicator of spatial autocorrelation, or LISA, and it's been downloaded nearly 150,000 times. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Moran's Eye, we'll cover that as we go along. So why use Geoda? Well, you're interested in spatial analysis of vector data. You're interested in looking at statistics, like looking for clusters of count or rate data that have similar values, performing regression, looking at observed and predicted values, residuals, and diagnostics. Its features include being able to create basic maps, including choropleth maps, creating Thiessen or Voronoi polygons, spatial weights, which we'll talk about later, including queen and rook contiguity, which require an ARC Info or ArcGIS Advanced License, graphing, including linked graphs that you can interactively brush and select features and see their characteristics, lizes, and regression. We'll also talk about the difference between the two lizes, Moran's Eye and Geddes Ord. If you're interested in an, in an example of a use case, head over to my blog to the article that looks at examining health insurance rates at the county level. I'll also be sure to include a link in the comment section below. And that concludes part one and introduction to Geoda. This is just the first part in a multi-part series. If there's something you'd like to see, leave it in the comment section below. For updates, you can follow me at John the Epi on Twitter. Lastly, if you like this video, be sure to click subscribe or the like button.